Well hello and welcome to Gmodism Total Nerdy channel. Today we will check how to set up an automated truck delivery system where you can transport goods from one place to another. And this is my newly made copper sheet plant. It only makes copper sheets. Uh, so we will be checking out how to set up a truck to go here, pick everything up and go home. Right, so what we first need to do is we'll need to go into the build menu, transportation, and here we have a truck station. So let us see where we can have this truck station. Okay, so I try to line up these things here. Somewhere around. We are in the way, we can't stand in the free space. Probably somewhere around exactly here. Right in here we have it. So we can connect up our fuel. Because some, at least one of the stations, need some kind of a fuel to be able to. Uh, to refill your trucks with otherwise they will get no fuel and here we have the goods of course and the goods will load into this container now what we need to do is of course get some power to this thing and we're going to take it from inside but we're going to do it in a nice way of course so we should be getting our power holes from the wall some maybe there and we can hook it up to maybe this one perfect so we can hook this thing up fantastic now we can see the goods are flowing in both coal and uh, copper so we have our coal mines over here. So what it's basically is doing is kind of leaching from it. Right, now we need to get into this one and the truck station that shall pick up the goods need to have this checked to pick up and the ones that are going to load need to have this one checked in so it will actually load. All right, go to transportation and select the truck or Explorer, I think actually <laughs> the Explorer is faster, but uh, it is faster, but it seemed to work actually, but the truck is a nice cheap option. Right. So we're going to go into this one and uh, just put some petroleum coke in there. And now we kind of are where we want to be. This is from which direction we will come. So we'll go here and just park <coughs> where we want to pick up the goods. Then you hold C and you can see we can enable and disable autopilot, make sure it's disabled. And then we can clear the path if we had a path earlier and then we'll click start recording. Right, so now we are recording. And I've already set up the pickup station and now we're just standing here to make sure it will be able to load it with the goods and that should be enough. Now we are recording. We can see we are dropping these little waypoints behind us. So we'll just need to go back to base and uh, drop off the goods. So the closest, least problematic path possible. And of course now there are a lot of trucks here and uh, I don't know if that's why we have a little bit unstable FPS but just try to drive carefully because these nodes they can be removed and edited but it's kind of good that the nodes are in a good place so that your vehicles can go safely. And uh, you also need to drive in a way so that you can, after you've went there, you also, of course, want to, uh, don't mind any animals. You need to go back as well, because you need to make a loop, basically. It's not that smart. 
Right, so we're coming in for pickup. And I've already set this up. Can break. I can actually jump out here. We have a splitter that splits, a smart splitter that splits off copper sheets. And this is of course set to unload. And I think that will be enough for unloading. So we'll continue. Now we have a little bug here. That's not very good. We can remove that uh, node later. But we shall now basically just drive back where we came from. And we're still, of course, recording the path. And try to not collide with any vehicles or anything, because that, uh, well, will mess up your points. However, the actual vehicles, when they are driving themselves and you don't see them, they're actually teleporting. Now, we actually got stuck here again. This is really interesting. Okay, okay. That's weird. Well, it doesn't matter. We should we shall clean up these points later. And uh, why I got stuck? It was a bug. It's a bug in the game, and stuff like that happens. You know, it is a uh, early access game, so can be kind of expected. Right, and now we just need to park here and hold this one, select hide path nodes and finish recording. Now we can go and enable the autopilot. Right, so now it should be set. See, it has loaded it. It will now wait here. You can actually go into it and check. Autopilot is online and we hidden the nodes so we can see it personally. And if it gets stuck in the beginning like that, you'll just you'll just drive back and forth a little bit, <clears throat> and uh, it will understand what's going on. Basically, it's a little bit weird. And of course, we need some beautiful fences here. Very nice. Now it looks much more like a truck station. Anyways, let's go edit these uh, nodes. All right, so we got into a truck that has uh, had some problems with the nodes. So we're going to uh, disable autopilot and show the path nodes. Here we can see this node. Edit, delete. That's right. Now we can get into this and we can hide nodes again and enable autopilot. Beautiful it should now go on its mission. And that's not actually the same truck we, uh, we just drove. That's the uh, quartz delivering truck, if you were wondering. Yeah, but that's basically how to set that up. So setting up some truck deliveries, there we go. That's how to do it. And uh, I guess we need to catch another truck here later because we got stuck on another place too. I guess I noticed the next time I see it get stuck. But, you know, that's how to do it. And if you drive the wrong way, you can drive the right way and kind of remove the path nodes that shouldn't be there. But on the other hand, it's probably not the best idea. You should just make sure that the path you have is decent enough. And now I do hope Oh no. Oh no. You know, I drove this car fast under this little truck loading station and now we accidentally unloading <laughs> everything we had on us. Fortunately for me, the thing we had on us will uh, get into this container so we can pick it up. Well. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, if you did, please leave a little like and I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Odesen.
signing out.